Welcome! In this video we will go over fuse replacement for a Combat Fusion SCR power controller. You will need the following, a number 2 Phillips bit screwdriver, and a small flathead screwdriver. If you're working with a 10 to 50 amp controller, you will also need a pair of fuse pulling pliers. An 80 to 160 amp controller will also call for a number 3 Phillips bit and a torque wrench. You will also need some electrically conductive anti-corrosive paste, like Penetrox A, and the replacement fuse or fuses, and these are available for purchase from Control Concepts. Before replacing a fuse, turn off line power and control power, then use a screwdriver to remove the controller lid. Disconnect the display wire and set the lid aside. Now remove the main wire harness by pulling on the connectors, not the wires itself. You'll also need to remove the flat flex cable as shown. Pull the key toward the cable from both edges of the connector. The key tabs will stay attached to the connector. Remove the screws from the four corners of the gate board. Gently lift this board out of the controller. Now the steps vary a little depending on your controller's size. A 10 to 50 amp compact fusion is pretty straightforward. You'll simply remove and replace the fuse. We'll focus more on the 80 to 160 amp sizes. These controllers have fuses attached to insulators. Here is a 160 amp controller. We remove the screws, paying attention to how the bus bars, wires, and lugs are oriented. An 80 amp controller also has a DVT board that must be removed from the SCR to get to the bus bar. Once you've removed the fuse, take the new fuse and apply a thin layer of conductive anti-corrosive paste where it contacts the lug and the bus bar. Insert the fuse, reattach the red wire with the ring terminal and the lug. Torque the screws holding the fuse to 75 inch-pounds. For an 80 amp controller, you'll do the same. Torque the screws around the fuse to 75 inch pounds, and then reattach the DVT board and torque the standoffs to 25 inch pounds. Now we continue working backward. Connect the leads from the current transformer. Reinsert the gate board with the four screws and keep the board supported and not overstressed while you connect the installation displacement connectors. Next, connect the flat flex cables, starting with the shortest. Be sure you insert these cables into the key evenly. They shouldn't be crooked or below the key altogether. Reconnect all the wiring to the correct headers, as well as any fan wires if present.
reconnect the display cable. Reattach the controller lids. And finally, apply control and line power and make sure a blown fuse indicator is not present. For more information or assistance, download the Compact Fusion installation manual from our website at www.cci.power.com or contact the experts directly by calling Control Concepts Incorporated.